The Rat Brigade has made a mess of your galley. Straw, bits of blanket, and patches from damaged uniforms have been gathered into a makeshift nest. In contrast, tiny notebooks, battered derringers, and hip flasks that are not as small as you might expect are stored with care, stacked in a corner away from prying hands. So they piled a bunch of loose garbage from the ship to make a nest, but then near the nest they have all their stuff neatly organized. I like these rats. Let's get good. I am the Gamer Under Development, and this is Sunless Skies. We are jumping right back in where we left off on our last episode on Tuesday. Uh, we are at Magdalene's, where we have just sold off all of the seeds for our first bargain. So now that that is no longer something that we're dealing with, we do have one other bargain we're looking at, which is the Admiral's China Crockery for Port Avon. That does mean that we need to find some place that is selling that in order to actually fu uh, fulfill that need. However, we did get one crate of nostalgic crockery, which I think we just found on a wreckage. So we need five of those crates, though, so we need four more. Let's go ahead and check the shops at Magdalene's and just see what's available. Uh, Beatrice's does not have that. She does have a jumble of undistinguished souls and, of course, supplies and fuel that we can buy. We're actually okay on supplies and fuel right now. I'm not going to spend any money on those at the moment. Uh, there is ministry-approved literature available here as well, but we're also not in any position to really need that either. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wear down our welcome here. We already got a port report, I think, or wait, maybe we didn't. Let's check our hold. We got a port report from Port Avon. I know that. Yeah, we didn't get a port report here yet. So we're going to get a port report, obviously, so we can turn that in and get some things for it. So let's go ahead and start at Magdalene's House of Small Comfort. Write a port report. That is perfect. Please. And thank you. Uh, all right, excellent. So we got a port report. Magdalene is abuzz with activity. Barely has the clock chimed. Then a clamor goes up at the front desk. Guests rushing to and from appointments. Lord Blank was seen in conversation with the amenable host. The East Wing was closed for general access all day. A certain distinguished admiral was seen with his second in command entering one of the chambers of regret. Several guests succumbed to an excess of sentimentality and were forcibly removed. Interesting. Uh, so as far as we can tell, Magdalene is where people go to, like, vent all the psychological damage that occurs to them on the oceans. And being emotional here, or not the oceans, in the skies, rather, and being emotional in the Reach is apparently, like, a really bad thing. At least at Magdalene's it is. Uh, so that's interesting. We can observe guests going in for ongoing treatment. I don't think we want to do that right now, though. Like, we've done that before. It didn't really lead us anywhere. Uh, if we go in here... Yeah, we're still not able to do anything with that. Port Avon is the one I was thinking of where you can wear out your welcome. Uh, okay, so I think we're done here. There's really nothing left for us here. We could technically go treat our terror. We have 12%, which leaves us at untroubled. But we could come in here and we could trade our uncanny specimen to remove our terror. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This will provide a unique encounter and lower your terror. Let's try that. Let's do it. What is this unique encounter? Oh? What's yours? Mine is... Oh, but I mustn't say. Sorry, I'm new this way. Uh, so we are requesting treatment for a personal fl uh, failing right now. You're being treated for the flaw in your heart. Sad times. We have a flaw in your heart. Or in our heart. The attendant holds up a candle before four doors of mirrored glass. Four of our staff are available today. Each has their own specialty. Their names are not yours to know, only their craft. He smiles suddenly, his teeth gleaming the links of it on a chain. Or like links on a chain, sorry guys. You know yourself best. Who can tend your wounded heart? Whoever you need, you can find behind one of these doors. Uh, so we can go someone from your past. Their face lingers in the fog of memory. A very boring individual indeed. Their tedium was sublimely crafted. Someone who once meant a very great deal, they're not with you now. That could be our past captain, a former crewman. They were lost in your service, so that would give us crew. This could potentially be our former captain right here. Um, so I'm tempted to take that one. Like, I think, let's go with that one. Someone who once meant a great deal. Terror fades. Is that the chair where you, is that the picture you drew after? All is exactly as you remember. A simulacrum perfect to the finest detail. 
They are watching you warily, all the gathered apparatus of your voice laid out before them. Their hands wavers. They smile as you close the door. A return or a release. You are briefly without terror. Interesting. So that just removed all of our terror. I don't know what else that did. I don't think it did anything else, which is weird. Uh, I figured that when it was someone we had lost, like it would be the ghost of our former captain or something, which would have been really cool. So we've never gone through this area right here, and that'll actually lead us back to New Winchester where we can turn in some of those port reports. So we may go that way, and then we may push up a little bit here just to try to find some new ports to go to, because we've been to Avon, we've been to Magdalene's, we've already gotten port reports from there multiple times. We need to sort of investigate this area and this area, and then maybe start working our way out around this map so that we can find new places to go. Uh, and new places to spend money, because we have a lot of it now. Alright, so we are out of the station and gone. The driver twitches miserably. I wonder if that's referring to our driver. Oh, okay, so it did put the Repentant Devil as a signaler. And we can come in here and we can talk to these people. So if we ask him about the state of our soul, uh, we'll probably get the same response we did last time, but we can check that. Yeah, okay, it's the same response as last time. He's just telling us to go to Kurillan. Uh Gamble with the incautious driver. Rumors not intended for your ears suggest the driver is running an illicit poker game in the hold. I'm good at poker, let's do it. Caught in the act, you enter the hold and find the game well underway. The driver sits cross-legged in front of a pile of freshly won sovereigns and three newly impoverished members of the crew. A stoker angrily throws an expensive-looking watch onto the pile of winnings and departs in a fury. The driver looks up. Citizen, care to make a wager? Uh, yeah. Let's wreck him. Let's wreck him hard. And we get to use our mirrors. Isn't our mirrors good? Why is our chance of success so low? Uh, the driver deals the cards between the players, the crook, or the cook, and a crewman whose name you can't place at the moment. Watch each other with barely disguised suspicion. Behind you, a small crowd gathers to see their captain's coin. I'm good. We're going to step away from the game because we can't win right now. We cannot win right now. The remaining crew around the circle relax as you stand to leave. The driver shuffles the cards, ready to begin the next round. Uh, we can ban any future games or let the game continue. If we let the game continue, there's a chance to come back and beat him later when we have higher mirrors. But I mean, maybe he'll generate a negative event because he's taking everyone's money and making them angry? I'm gonna let him continue for now. There's no reason to break it up right now. If it becomes a problem, we will. The driver nods to you, idly scratching an ear. Just for a moment, you spot something green winding around their finger. Is he cheating? Learn about the incautious driver. You are learning more about him. He was cheating, that's what he was doing. Converse with the incautious driver. They keep scratching their ears, even while driving. A nervous tick or perhaps a sickness that might spread amongst the crew. Yeah, what the heck is going on with you, buddy? What is going on with you? What? Oh, yes, yes. The driver scratches again. It's nothing, just a little earache. I'm sure, it comes and goes. Their knee trembles with the frustration of being pulled away from the wheel for even this short conversation. See, all fine now. Recommend visiting a doctor. The health of the crew is paramount. Order a visit to the doctor. The efficiency of your crew cannot be allowed to slide. Leave it for now. As long as it doesn't affect their work, it's none of your concern. Okay, so is he going to turn into, like, some Cthulhu monster if we leave it? I'm going to tell him to... Mm. No, we don't recommend things. We're the captain of this train. We tell people what to do. Go visit the doctor. <laughs> Not necessary, the driver protests. Scratching at their ear with renewed force, a look of pain flashes over their face for a moment. Perhaps. Hmm. My family knows of a specialist in New Winchester. I think Father owns the building. I think I can call in a favor. Excellent. That sounds great. We're going to get you to New Winchester for that. The driver has no tolerance for uneventful voyages. When not on duty, they stare through the stained glass windows as if willing excitement to ride in on a wave of disaster. When they take the wheel, the rest of the crew grip the nearest available supports and whisper quiet prayers to various gods. That's great. Um, okay, so we're going to take him to New Winchester for sure. The sky, the high wilderness, where stars burn and wind moans and mist drifts in ragged folds. The sun makes their homes here or the sons make their homes here, and now so too do the Londoners, building new lives out in the dark, a coggy conversation. Oh, okay, this is the uh, previous conversation we had with the fastidious inspector. We are going to inquire about her work. She's going to tell us that she knows a lot about the hours trade and that she grew up in London, 
and that she's loyal to the Queen. Uh, we can ask for news about London, which is fine. That'll give us a little bit more information about London, which may actually help us later. Uh, we can discuss the Reach. We've, we've already done all these in previous episodes, guys, so if you want them read in detail, go ahead and check them there. I'm not going to keep looping through the same things. Uh, we will compliment her skills here, though, because that's actually a very important thing. Thank you, she says, a small embarrassed silence. It's possible the inspector is pleased. It's rather hard to tell. Uh, maybe that isn't important, but I think it's important because it builds a rapport with our crew members. Well, not even our crew members. She's a passenger. And to you, Captain, I think I shall make a cup of tea. Excellent. You do that. Uh, we have the Rat Pack here we can talk to as well. Spend time with the Rat Brigade. They can be a riot if they're in the mood. The Rat Brigade was made... or I'm sorry. The Rat Brigade has made a mess of your galley. Straw, bits of blanket, and patches from damaged uniforms have been gathered into a makeshift nest. In contrast, tiny notebooks, battered derringers, and hip flasks that are not as small as you might expect are stored with care, stacked in a corner away from prying hands. So they piled a bunch of loose garbage from the ship to make a nest, but then near the nest they have all their stuff neatly organized. I like these rats. Spend time with the Rat Brigade. The Rat Brigade are playing cards. Cinders is cheating by means of mirrors concealed in the sleeves of her uniform, a spring-loaded trap, and brazen card counting. Albrecht and Petronella have devised a surreptitious drinking game around each new display of bad sports rat ship. Sports rat ship. That's great. I love these guys. If we can find a way to keep them on with us forever, we're gonna do that. It's interesting they take the chief engineer slot as well. Because uh, that makes me wonder if they are technically our chief engineer, or if that is a thing that has gone to the incautious driver, because it's actually hard to tell at this point. Maybe you can have multiples? I don't know. Um, okay, so if we get a savage secret, we can come talk to them again. We're totally going to do that. If we get a savage secret, that is exactly what we're going to do. We've already talked to you, lady. Bye bye Okay, now we are heading out to where we were in the first place. Let's go. I'm glad that we had those talks, though. Like, I'm actually super excited to find out that there's another option with the Rat Brigade. Like, I hope you guys are as excited as I am, because we're totally going to go for that. If we can get the Rat Brigade, that would be awesome. And it looks like there is not a passage through here, so we're going to have to go around. Uh, while not particularly problematic, that is kind of sad. I was hoping that we'd have a passage through there and that perhaps we could find something, or there would be another port up there or something, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Uh... I do feel like the objectives, or rather the ports and things like that, are placed much, much more sparsely in this title than they were in Sunless Seas. Uh, look at that. There's a mining thing. We actually don't have a drill, so we can't mine it. Uh, I'm not even sure if we can put a drill on this locomotive. Like, that's the interesting thing. There's all these new things, like mining and other stuff that, like, we haven't really had a chance to figure out yet. So I'm excited to figure those out. Hi there, buddy. Get wrecked. Wow, we just got like four shots off on him and he didn't get any on us. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Finish him. Finish the Reach Marauder. Get him. Oh, look at that, guys. We've gotten so good at getting the jump on people and just unloading into them. There we go. You approach the buckled wreckage, poised to plunder the plunderers behind you. Someone is humming a song of victory. Da 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 da. Uh, okay. So we can loot the hold, or we can strip the engine room for materials. This will actually fix our hull. I'm going to go ahead and loot the hold, because stripping the engine for materials will just give us a little bit more hull than we already have. And we're not that hurt, and we're doing really good in combat lately, so we don't actually need the hull that much. So we'll loot this. And we got a solid crate, stamped and carefully sealed. It is heavy as a dead man's weight. Okay, let's, uh, let's take that thing now. A gunner sniffs just before the lid is wrenched open. Gunpowder, they assert, before assuming responsibility for the opening. Once the lid has been carefully pried off, the case's gleaming arsenal of ammunition, sealed powder, and callous weaponry is laid bare. This will fetch a handsome price. The heavens do not lack for murderers. You now have one times carefully packed crate of munitions. That's actually really useful because we've run into things where we needed those to just do like different quest options. Uh, so now we have those, which is cool. I'm actually really enjoying the combat system in this. Like, so far, we're we're definitely, like, on the beginning cusp of it. We have the weakest ship, the weakest... Well, I'm sorry, the weakest locomotive, the weakest cannons, and all those things. But at the same time, we're still having fun with the combat. And this little jutting thing you can do now is just legit. Like, I love it. Um, okay. 
do we want to go back now or not? What's our fuel and supplies look like? Our fuel and supplies are okay, so I might press out this way just a little bit. Like, we're not going to go super far in here. In fact, once we get below three supplies, we'll probably whip back around and head to New Winchester. I'm just kind of trying to get some more exploration done since we didn't really find anything when we tried to go through that other path. Here we have the green meadow. Oh, I don't know if hitting that debris is bad. The detritus of yet another skirmish in the Winchester War. Okay, let's check it out. The wreck gleams with frost, its windows are dark, its engine silent, perhaps something of value lies within. Uh, so we've done this before, we can do a hearts check and if we fail we're going to lose a crew member, we can strip her for repairs or we can leave her untouched. I have to believe that the reward for this is worth it so we're just going to try it. Failure, we lost a crew member. Oh no, we gained 15 terror instead. Your driver pulls your locomotive alongside the wreck, close enough for you to leap the gap. You squeeze with difficulty into the starlit bridge where frozen figures sit at stiff attention. The dead bridge crew, mustaches bristle with ice crystals. I thought that was a period. I think it's supposed to be a comma though, my bad. The dead bridge crew, mustaches bristled with ice crystals. That, yeah, I don't know. You pick a careful path between them. Something at the far end of the room has caught your eye. Dun, dun, dun. A clasped jewelry box. Something precious has been concealed. Let's get it. You now have one time salon stewed gossip. A sheaf of letters falls from a concealed compartment. The pages are rife with scandal. Excellent. So we got something out of that. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, we gotta watch out. This dude is on us. Nope. Sorry, homie. Nope. Oh, we gotta watch it. He's trying to get up in our face. As long as we keep veering to the correct direction, he can't really hit us. See, look at that. Every time he lines up a shot, we just veer away from him. And as long as we keep going the same direction, or whatever direction gets us clear, we're kind of okay. Oh, is he not going to shoot from that range? Because we will. We will absolutely pelt him from that range. Boom goes the dynamite, buddy! Yeah, get wrecked. Look at that. We got him. Oh my gosh. That was like out of nowhere. When we pulled out of that screen and he was right next to us, I was like, is that a No, that is not us. Okay, the Reach Marauder is defeated. We can loot the hold or we can repair. I'm going to loot the hold again because why not? We got a class jewelry box. Something precious has been concealed. What is inside? You have gained a Salon Stewed Gossip. New total is two. Okay, so I don't know what those are used for, but we now have two of them. And we are below that three fuel now, so we should start heading back to New Winchester. But we've got this very cool eye symbol here that is a wonder. So I kind of want to go see it. What is that thing? Y'all see that thing hovering around that's glowing? It's got a, a glowy trail behind it. I don't want to mess with whatever that is. That that seems like a bad thing for us. Uh, oh boy, this is the wonder right here. What in the world is that? Advice for captains. Wonders, you found a wonder, or you found and benefited from a wonder, one of the most pleasant and least menacing landmarks of the high wilderness. Wonders immediately lower terror when you draw near them, so long as you haven't visited too recently. Sometimes it's worth taking a detour to include them in your routes. Oh, that's cool. So basically, they provide a terror reduction as long as you're not, like, exploiting it and trying to just spam drive around them and lower your terror. And that is the memorial to the unknown rat that we've discovered right there. That is the wonder we found. Uh, and thankfully, there is a path right here that'll take us back down to New Winchester. So at least we discovered one new thing. Oh, boy. Are you a Tackety? You probably are. You're a Tackety Scout, so you're not an enemy, but we could wreck you if we wanted to. Depends on how many people are out here, though. Uh, Marauder's Prowl, okay. Doesn't seem like there's too many people out here though, guys, does it? Wonder what would happen if we just decided to do this. Oh, we dodged his shot nice and easy. Uh-oh, we're overheated, we're overheated. We can't dodge right now, we gotta get out of the way. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, did we just make it away from there? We did. Nope. Oh, he's good. He is very good. He is very, very good. 
But I am good. I am the good. Oh, and I just dodged that shot perfectly. Get wrecked, homeboy. Ah! Oh, this is it. We getting in for real now. Come on. Oh, we got him. Yeah! And we didn't take a single hit. Okay, cool. The Tackety Scout is defeated. The Tackety's favor scrappy, versatile engines that, when not skirmishing with company vessels, can serve double duty as traders, messengers, or transports. We can search the hold, they carry unpredictable cargo, or we can pillage their stores for fuel and supplies. Uh, we have mirrors at a reasonable level, so we get a 45% chance to come up with something good from this, or we can search the hold. I think I'm going to go for this, because if we come up with fuel and supplies, it'll save us a lot of sovereigns. Failure, of course. Um, okay, assembling a boarding party, you plunge into the smoke-throttled corridors, but it's too late. The engine is an inferno. Flames leap, and the smoke is clogged with stinging embers. You have to retreat, empty-handed. Not all of you make it back. So we got mangled tackety nameplates remain unchanged at zero. You've gained one tail of terror, so now we have two of the tail of terrors, and you've lost one crew member. Okay, so losing one crew for that is kind of, kind of crappy, but whatever. Losing one crew is not the end of the world. They're actually not that expensive to replace anyway, uh, unless you're losing them in very, very large numbers. And at that point, you're kind of in trouble anyway, because our current locomotive cannot be driven by less than six crew. So if we had fallen below that, it would have been an actual serious issue. Uh, because we know we're going to be heading to New Winchester relatively soon, I do want to kind of take a look over here and see what we can find. That is interesting. That little lip mark means something to crave. Hmm. Something to crave. I wonder what we would crave in that little island right there. Uh, I do want to check in here because this is why I thought there was a path running through is because I could see this. I just didn't know where this went. Maybe it comes out over here? That would actually make sense. Um, in fact, we should probably follow this all the way to New Winchester at this point. Oh, that is scary. What are you? Are you engaging us? You are engaging us. Hello, Reach Marauder. Get wrecked, homie. Oh, man. I'm not actually getting very many good shots on him. Because uh, I am not accurate enough. Wee. Come on, buddy. Take a shot. Good job. There we go. Getting those shots now. Got to make sure I keep enough of our uh, heating left so that we can dodge, though, because he's getting in real tight with us. When they get in tight with us like that, it's because they're trying to get a shot on us without us being able to dodge out of the way, I think. Uh, which is why I just kind of go around their backside when they do that. Ooh, nice try there, bud. Nice try. Let me just loop around you one more time. Oh, I whiffed that shot. I thought I had it. Ooh, we barely, barely missed that one. Oh, we didn't miss that one at all. He got it. Ooh, but we took him out. We took him out. Hello, hello. We got it. We got it. Oh, that was close. Okay. Loot the hold, strip the engine for materials. This is, once again, one of those ones where we're probably... Actually, at this point, we're at 50% health. I'm going to strip the hold for materials. We gained eight hull. Your crew go to work eagerly, vaulting out into the bright. Tools at the ready. The stripping of the Marauder is slow and painful work. They are cobbled together of stolen parts. Finding suitable fits for your own engine is a process of trial and error. Many of your crew will have lost friends, family, lovers to the Marauders. It speeds the work. Excellent. So we got a bunch of hull out of that. Uh, we are low on supplies, though, but we did level up, so I'm going to go do our level up here real quick. So we have a very reasonably high Veils. We also have a Mirrors that's reasonably high. The rest of our stuff's not great. Uh, we haven't run into much chance to use our Veils yet, which makes me kind of sad, but I'm still going to aim to buff our Mirrors and our Veils. Uh, so Haunted right here is a good option. A Scandal is a good option. Uh, the August Avenues is also potentially a good option. Hmm. A Promise of Days is a good option here as well. Uh, I'm going to go with A Promise of Days because I think that's going to guarantee us some mirrors. And then hopefully we'll pick up some veils with that as well. That seems like a good deal. Excellent. Her Majesty offered the earliest pioneers to enter the heavens a grant of 30 years if they would build houses and necessities for those who would follow. You were one of the first through the doors to the sky and accepted the offer. How did you spend the Queen's hours? 
Uh, so now we can select in turmoil, which will give us plus five of mirrors and plus three of iron, uh, which isn't really what we want. It'll also give us one of these sky stories, which is great because that's actually our, our objective, I think, is to write down a bunch of sky stories. Or we can choose gallivanting. You took the afforded or the offered time and fled, leaving your crimes and past behind while London grew. You explored the wide sky, untroubled by laws or horizons. That one will give us five mirrors and three veils, so we're going to go with that. My goal here is to even out our mirrors and veils so that at least we can consistently do two things well. That's what I really, really want. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep going this way. We did find a... Oh, Basilar's Folly. Interesting. We did find a place up there we could have stopped. Something to crave right there, but we didn't get a chance to explore it because we are running out of supplies, and in the long run, it is more important for us to get our rear ends back over to New Winchester. In fact, even though we just found something new right there, we're going to have to come back and explore it later because I really just want to get us back to New Winchester. We are running low on supplies. Although, if I recall correctly, once we go below that one, it should actually crack into another box. So we're not dead yet, which is good. Uh, and we're gaining a bunch of terror right here because we were in an area that was something grave. However, we stumbled onto something valuable. Lights in the distance, a stoker begins to sing a ballad about the chimneys of New Winchester. Good, let him do that. Hey, we got another one of those crockery pot things. So now we only need three for Port Avon's bargain. Uh, and that's actually really cool because we just kind of stumbled on those. Like, we haven't bought any of them, which is excellent for me. Because uh, saving sovereigns will help us out a lot because earlier we struggled a whole bunch with getting enough sovereigns to just buy supplies and fuel. So the fact that we now have sort of an abundance of sovereigns is really, really useful. Because it means that we should be able to afford all the fuel and supplies that we need and continue our explorations into the sunless skies. Wispy condensation trails cross the sky, the ghosts of a passing trains. Dun dun dun. Uh, let's go ahead and dock up here in Victory Hall and go ahead and turn in our port reports to the Tackities who are our buddies, even though we kind of just blew up one of their ships. Nobody needs to know, it's fine. They don't need to know we killed one of their locomotives. Uh, recent news, we already know about that one and we can't actually accept it yet, so let's go visit Victory Hall. This is uh, the Endurate veteran. We're going to turn in our port reports to her. That will give us a nice boost in sovereigns as well as favor with them. You have now gained two times the Tackity's Gratitude, you've gained 200 sovereigns, you've gained two times fortune Tackity's, and you've lost two times fortune Stovepipes. So we are now hard in with the Tackities, uh, which is interesting because I don't know if we can then balance it out by going to the stovepipes. So we should look for their dock and see if we can. Uh, all right. Excellent. So now we can trade a favor for a savage secret, guys. We're doing that. We are doing that. How many? We have two of these. Give me a savage secret. Ratnia. Okay, so now we have a savage secret. She leans in close before she speaks. Her voice is low and laden with tobacco. She shares what she knows of several motions that have not yet reached the assembly floor. Some would make changes to laws that it is helpful to know about in advance. So that is the savage secret that she provided us with. Now we're going to go ahead and choose perhaps not right here and back right out. Gonna run over to the bazaar here, see if there's anything interesting. Doesn't look like there is. However, what is interesting is we have a savage secret. So we're gonna go ahead and do the Rat Brigade thing now. Talk to the Rat Brigade. Why exactly do they need a locomotive? Perhaps sharing a confidence of your own will encourage candor. Here we go. Missing numbers. Cinders lights a cigar. Our Sarge kicked the bucket in the blockade. But the night before, he told each of us he'd left us something in a vault. Old Sod must have been loaded. Thing is, we need this account number to get it. He gave part of it to each of us, so there'd be no thieving. Hence our predicament. The last mission? Our lieutenant sold us out. Half the squad died, the rest scattered. We took the numbers off the dead, but we need to find the survivors of the company. Between us, we have the number, and we still have to find the vault. Cinders grinds her yellow teeth in frustration. Sarge kept some stuff at Carillon. No doubt it's, or doubt it's the vault, but might be a clue. She cocks her head. Fifty sovereigns for a trip to Carillon, then? Uh, yeah, sure. We actually need to go to Carillon, too, because we're trying to get our soul to be worth more than dirt. So we can ask Albrecht about Sarge now that we've done that, so let's go ahead and do that. They're on a quest because of his bequest. What was he like? How did he die? The past unburied. Albrecht is polishing his claws. Sarge casts a long shadow. He assembled us at the start of the Winchester Vor. 
the best fighting rats who came through the avid horizon. He made us a unit. He adjusts his whiskers, but have no, but have had no respect. We were expendable to get better contracts. We had to be respectable. So he found a rodent of officer class to lead us. Part hamster, I think he sighs, and that's where it all went wrong. He lapses into silence and will say no more. So the problem was they brought a hamster into the equation. Don't trust them hamsters. They are not a reliable bunch. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Hamsters are just fine, guys. The Rat Brigade has made a mess of your galley. Straw bits of blank and patches from damaged uniforms have been gathered into a makeshift nest. Okay, so we've already seen that. So we did all of their dialogue we could do off of that savage secret. That's still really nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close that. I'm hoping that if we complete their quest, we'll get to keep them as an officer because that would be phenomenal. Unfortunately, though, guys, we are out of time, so that is going to bring an end to this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more or check out some of our other great series like Endless Legend or Endless Space 2, uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and make sure to ding that bell so that you get notified every time we discover something terrifying on the sunless skies. I'm just kidding. Make sure to ding the bell, because if you don't, you won't actually get notified when the next episode goes up, and then you won't know, and that's no fun, is it? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.